An infinite geometric series is the sum of an infinite number of terms of a geometric series. It would be great if we had an equation we could use to calculate it. Remember, an infinite geometric series can either be divergent or convergent. If r is less than negative 1 or greater than positive 1, the series is divergent. But if r is between negative 1 and 0, or between 0 and positive 1, the series is convergent. Let's try to find the sum of a divergent series where r is greater than 1. Here's an example. We're asked to find the sum of this infinite geometric series. We see that a1 equals 3. r equals 9 over 3, which is equal to 3. And because this is an infinite series, n equals infinity. This is an infinite series where r is greater than 1, so it is a divergent series. We'll start by writing the equation for the sum of a geometric series. Now we'll substitute 3 for a1, 3 for r, and infinity for n. 3 to the power of infinity is infinitely large, or infinity, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 1 minus infinity is infinitely small, or negative infinity. Negative infinity over negative 2 is the same as positive infinity over positive 2, so the expression can be written as 3 over 2 times infinity. Any positive number times infinity is infinitely large, or infinity. Because the sum of this series is infinitely large, it cannot be calculated. Remember, this is an infinite series where r is greater than 1, so it is a divergent series. Now let's see what happens when we try to calculate the sum of a geometric series where r is less than negative 1. We're asked to find the sum of this series. We see that a1 equals 3, r equals negative 9 over 3, which is equal to negative 3, and n equals infinity. This is an infinite series where r is less than negative 1 so it is a divergent series. We'll start with the equation for the sum of a geometric series. Now we'll substitute 3 for a1, negative 3 for r, and infinity for n. A negative number to an infinite power is an interesting question. Remember, a negative number multiplied by itself an odd number of times will always be negative. So if infinity were an odd number, then negative 3 to the power of infinity would be negative infinity. But also remember, a negative number multiplied by itself an even number of times will always be positive. So if infinity were an even number, then negative 3 to the power of infinity would be positive infinity. So we can substitute either negative infinity or positive infinity for negative 3 to the power infinity. 1 minus negative infinity is the same as 1 plus infinity, and 1 minus infinity is negative infinity. 1 plus infinity is infinitely large, or infinity, and negative infinity over negative 2 is the same as positive infinity over positive 2. This gives 3 over 2 times negative infinity, or 3 over 2 times positive infinity. 3 over 2 times negative infinity is infinitely small, or negative infinity, and 3 over 2 times positive infinity is infinitely large, or positive infinity. So S infinity is either negative infinity or positive infinity. Therefore, we can state that the sum of this series is either infinitely small or infinitely large, so it cannot be calculated. Remember, this is an infinite series where r is less than negative 1, so it is a divergent series. We can summarize by stating that for a divergent series where r is greater than 1, or for a divergent series where r is less than negative 1, the sum cannot be calculated. Now we'll turn our attention to convergent series. Remember, a series is convergent if r is between negative 1 and 0, or between 0 and positive 1. 
Let's try one where r is between 0 and positive 1. We're asked to calculate the sum of this geometric series. We see that a1 equals 30, r equals 15 over 30, or 1 half, and n equals infinity. We'll start with the equation for the sum of the geometric series. We'll substitute 30 for a1, 1 half for r, and infinity for n. If we multiply 1 half by itself an infinite number of times, the value gets smaller and smaller, and approaches 0. This is true for any number between 0 and 1. So we'll replace 1 half to the power infinity by 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. 1 divided by 1 half is 2, and 2 times 30 is 60. So we can state that the sum of this series can be calculated, and it is 60. And remember, because r is between 0 and 1, this is a convergent series. Now we'll try to calculate the sum of a convergent geometric series where r is between negative 1 and 0. We're asked to calculate the sum of this geometric series. We see that a1 equals 30, and this time r equals negative 15 over 30, or negative 1 half, and n equals infinity. We'll start with the equation for the sum of a geometric series. And we'll substitute 30 for a1, negative 1 half for r, and infinity for n. It can be shown that negative 1 half multiplied by itself an infinite number of times approaches 0. This is true for any number between negative 1 and 0, or between 0 and positive 1. So we'll replace negative 1 half to the power of infinity by 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, and 1 minus negative 1 half is the same as 1 plus 1 half, or 3 halves. 1 divided by 3 halves is equal to 2 thirds. And 30 times 2 thirds is equal to 20. So we can see that the sum of this series can be calculated, and it is 20. And remember, because r is between negative 1 and 0, this is a convergent series. So we can summarize by stating that, for an infinite convergent series, the sum can be calculated. We can even create a general equation to find the sum of a convergent geometric series. Here, we'll derive this equation. We'll start with the equation for the sum of a geometric series. And because we want the sum of an infinite series, we'll substitute infinity for n. We've shown in previous examples that if r is between negative 1 and 0, or between 0 and positive 1, then r to the power of infinity approaches 0. So we'll replace r to the power of infinity by 0. 1 minus 0 equals 1, so we get this equation. This can also be written as a1 over 1 minus r. So we can state that the equation for the sum of a convergent geometric series is s infinity equals a1 over 1 minus r, where r is between negative 1 and 0, or between 0 and positive 1. And r is not equal to negative 1, 0, or positive 1. We can use this equation to find the sum of any convergent geometric series.